this is a little different than I'm used to seeing here, but uh, I don't know. It's it's a it's a Halloween show. Well, I'm Jake Black, sitting alongside MK for the night. What a Halloween treat for me. As lights, camera, faction, Fresco and Watson get ready for tag team combat to kick things off. You know, I'm really excited about tonight. We've got everything going on here. We've got the top of the card, the mid card, a little bit of the bottom of the card, but it's all good. Well, we're starting it off with a main event tag team. Still unfinished business with the current champions, Hero Lou and Shogun SOS. But Fresco and Watson need to start racking up victories once again if they want to get back in contention, if they want another title shot against the champs who just defeated Chris Masters and Carlito six days ago at Mecca 8. And you can catch the replay of that. Still How good was fight. Mecca, honestly? How good was Mecca? Oh, Mecca was awesome. You know, that was the, that was the, the, the numbers are in. That was the most watched independent show of this month, for real. Yeah, on, on Fight TV, the numbers are in. But thank you for joining us on the FSW Network. Mecca 8 will be added soon, but if you can't wait and you shouldn't, check out the replay on Fight right now. So now, what I love about these guys is they don't care where they are in the card. They always bring it, and they're going to give the fans what they came for. Well, Andy Delgado, a man with a story of perseverance, very early in his career broke his collarbone. It was a really bad break. He missed a year plus. Of I training. think they call that break dancing. Yeah, break dancing, breaking your collarbone. A year plus of his career with that injury, but he has decided to pursue this career once again and wants to make the best of it. And Jeffrey Excellence, a guy I'm assuming you don't like. He's had his run-ins with you and the Army. No, I, you know, I love him. You know why? He's an easy, he's an easy night. We get paid and we get to kick someone's butt. So I love him. I love him. Let's let's book let's book him against the MK Army every night. Well, I'm sure you're scouting for the MK Army tonight. That's that's uh when uh, Joe told me that I was gonna be doing commentary, I was like more than welcome to do this because I get to see everybody on the top of the card, the bottom of the card, every match of the card to see who the MK Army is going to be. And the MK Army 2-0 at last week's Mecca. Tito pulling it off against the War Machine Rhino and Sam Adonis getting one over on Remy Marcel. And the best part about it is I didn't have to cheat. You did take, you get some bumps and bruises though along the road. Yeah, anything for my client. And here is Watson. Watson joined the faction because he realized oh. he the numbers. And what they've taught him is things like that. Start hot. You know, I'll tell you something. That's one of the, my favorite moves is that everybody's so caught up in the traditional collar elbow lockup, they forget that this is anything you want to do. And that kick off the start is amazing. Ring awareness by these gentlemen. Well, Fresco and Watson, Watson they, are, they are a team that has just gelled perfectly within the cast of the faction. Oh, yeah. I mean... You know, and what I like about this is they are showing their dominance. They're making sure, oh, see, now that's an illegal move. Why are they allowing illegal moves here? Well, technically it's the Manhattan drop followed by a suplex. And it's an In his groin, that is a prohibited area. The groinal area. Passion and pain is what that area brings to your life. And for Watson, it brought pain. That's correct. They also call that move the anti Cialis move. Reversal by Watson. Watch the drop step too, but Andy smartly holds oh, on. Oh, very smart. So it looks like he's been doing some film study here. Kind of knows what Watson's stuff is going. Well, film study is kind of lights, camera, faction thing. And look at that though. You know what I like about that is they're doing the whole team concept. They call this tag team wrestling for a reason. And what you saw was tag team wrestling there. Well, you saw the team aspect. Finally, we see the tag aspect of it. The double team Delgado really is. What's amazing to me is the referee is not counting 
He's just letting anything go here. Well, maybe he's dressed as Rick Knox for Halloween. Who knows? Oh, he's FSW alumni, by the way. There we go. Rick Knox. And look at this. Fresco bringing the aggressive side of the faction into this match. And I notice his hands are open, so those are all legal shots to the face. Well, you know how to keep the line of legal and illegal. When to cross it, when to pee. You know, as, as one of my favorite people in the world, Bubba Ray Dudley, always would tell me there is no line. Oh, look at that. Just as Delgado is firing back, Fresco cuts him off. And later on tonight, Lumberjack match. About two months in the making now. Action Braxton of Lights Camera Faction takes on Bodie Young Prodigy. Wow. Oh. And a frog splash off the middle. This is going to put El Delgado down. No. See, and I, th I think that was three, in my opinion. That was three. When you're a manager, how often do you want, especially in a tag match, I should say, how often do you want them to go for the cover in the match, even if they know they're not going to get it? Kind of like a litmus test to see how worn down the I opponent think you is. Go for it. I, honest, honestly, you should go for it every time because it wears down your opponent. Because you've got 180, 220 pounds on your belly you have to kick out of. You go for it every time. And that goes in singles, tag team, anything like that. It's all about a setup, almost like Mortal Kombat where your health goes down. That's really what it's like being in there. Well, Delgado must be feeling like he's fighting Goro right now. So now, the best part about this is you've got five seconds to do anything you want. So you should take advantage of that five seconds. You should choke, bite, punch, kick, groin grip, whatever you want for five seconds. If the referee allows it, then you do it. That sounds like a Craigslist ad. Well, yeah, that would, that, that's pretty much what it is. That is my Craigslist sad. Action has kept Delgado on their part of the set. They're, it, it's, they're cutting off the ring because you know, they're experienced, well-trained. Um, they, they practice together. Uh, they, they fought together for so long they know how to cut off the ring. They know how to make this a three or a two-on-one. See, that's a little bit of overconfidence right there. And he took one move too many. Yeah, Watson allowed, took time to talk trash to excellence. And that allows Delgado to move and make the tag. And now the freshman is in. Jeffrey Excellence scored the victory on a major shock. His first FSW victory. Now let's just make sure he doesn't get too overconfident. About a month back. Match on a high. I think he made it. We were just talking about this. Why did he not go for the cover? Then? Had he gone for the cover, he might have got him while they were stunned. But look now. And this is. You don't want to match this rolling. We're going to have to roll the end credits soon. Said, don't get overconfident. They took the one move too many, and I think this is going to be it. Yeah, I think this is going to do it. Oh! Oh! Neckbreaker side slam should end this thing. Now, look at this. That's called tag team. That's They did everything right from top to bottom. They got caught with a few shots, but wonderful performance by Lights Camera Back. Will this be the closing scene of FSW Halloween with lights, camera, faction standing tall? Because in our main event, Lumberjack match, Bodie Young Prodigy looks for revenge against Action Braxton. It's going to be amazing. You know, the thing about it is um, the Lumberjack match is always an interesting product. 